What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own custom logo, and with this tutorial, after you watch it, you're going to be able to make practically any logo you want for your channel, for your business, or anything you desire, so remember to leave a like for this video, and also if you guys want to see more tutorials like this, be sure to hit that sub button down below, and with that being said, let's get started. So when it comes to making a logo, basically every single logo there is has three elements. It has shapes or polygons, it has text, and it has effects. Now, text is pretty self-explanatory and effects you learn as you gain more experience, but in this tutorial, we're mostly going to be covering how to make basically any shape you want using a tool in Photoshop called the Pen Tool. So the Pen Tool is like the magic wand when it comes to making logos. So what we're going to do is go ahead and select the Pen Tool, and first I'm going to teach you how to use the tool, and then we're going to go ahead and create a logo for a company that you guys already know about. So the first thing to do is to select the actual pen tool, which is over here. It is called the pen tool. And you wanna go over here and change the mode from shape to path. And the pen tool is very simple. It is used to make shapes. So to create a shape with points, all you have to do is click with the pen tool. So if I click, as you, as you can see, it creates a point. If I click again, it creates another point and so on and so forth. It's pretty self-explanatory. If I click again, it creates another point. Now say you don't wanna have straight edges and you want to have a bend in your shape or logo. All you have to do is click and drag. And as you can see, like these two lines open up and they act as pivots and you get to drag and create a curve. So let me show you one more time. Just click and drag and you will have a bend. Now the thing is once you click and drag, the next point you click, it'll automatically bend. So if I show you guys one more time, to create a curve, you click and bend, but then the next click will automatically bend. And say you don't want that. Say you wanted to just click and bend for the first one, but the next point you do, you don't want it to do this. You don't want it to bend again. So if I just do a bend and then I click again, you see it bends again, but you don't want this. So to stop the second bend from occurring when you click again, all you have to do is press Alt. So I'm gonna show you one more time. You click and bend. Now what you do is you press Alt and you click on the middle point, and as you can see, the pivot goes away. So when you click this time, it doesn't bend. Boom. So you can have bends, you can have straight edges. I'm gonna show you one more time, just so you guys understand. So you click to leave a straight edge, you click and bend, click and drag to have a bend, then you alt click after that bend on the center point over here, so that the next line doesn't bend, and you can bend it however you want. So we're just going to go ahead and finish the shape. As you can see, it's really simple. All you just, all you did is basically have a bunch of bends and a bunch of lines. And using these bends and lines, you can create your own shapes. And boom, we have a shape. So that's all you have to do to make your own shapes in Photoshop. Now to edit the shape, say you don't like the way some of the points turned out. All you have to do is control click on the shape and all those points you made will appear. So you can click, you can control click on a point to change the way it is positioned like so. So if I wanted to maybe move it down a bit, I could do that. Now over here where the curve is, I can control click and I can of course control, control click and change the position of the point. But over here, I can actually control click on the pivot and change the actual bend as well if I wanted to. So if I wanted to move it inwards and make it look like a rocket ship, I could also do that. Now, if you just click on a point, it's going to remove the point like so. And if you want to add a point, all you have to do is click on the line like so, and another point is added. But yeah, that's all there is to this tool. The only thing you have to do after that is right click on the shape, fill the path, use color, select the color you want, press OK, press OK, and boom, your shape is filled in. Then just right click and delete the path, and you are left with your shape. That's all you have to do. Now to prove to you this tool is magical, we're actually going to be going ahead and recreating one of the most famous logos there is. We're going to make the Apple logo in only a couple of minutes using just this tool. Now keep in mind, since we're going to be doing it really quickly, um, it's not going to be perfect, but you'll see what I mean by, you know, this tool and how it's so powerful to make logos. So I think making logos and recreating logos is the best way to practice with this tool. Now, if you, were, if you were to make your own logo, what you would do is you'd maybe make a sketch and then sketch that logo out on paper and then scan it onto your computer and then trace that with the pen tool. That's what a lot of logo designers do. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and recreate the Apple logo. 
So we're going to start off with the actual apple, and I think over here is the best place to start. So the first thing you have to do is create a point. So we're going to go ahead and click. And then we're going to click again for the next point. And then all you have to do is drag to bend it like so. And there we go. Now remember, if you were to click again, it bends automatically. So to stop that, all we have to do is alt click on the center. And now we can go ahead and create another point and then bend it in the shape of the apple. Then we can alt click again, create another point, bend it in. Now a lot of this is trial and error, so don't be afraid to make mistakes. So there we go. We're going to alt click, create the next bend. This bend is going to be a pretty big bend. So we're going to go ahead and maybe have it end here. And can we drag all the way and have it fit? E sort of. All right, so this is close enough. We're going to alt click again. We're going to go over here. We're going to create another bend. There we go. We're going to alt click again. Have another bend. There we go. Alt click and then just finish off this shape of the apple like so. And boom, we have one shape done. Now just right click on this actual shape. Now if you want to edit, remember you can control click, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave the shape, right click, build path. We'll make the logo the color red, press OK, press OK, right click, delete path, and there we go. Now all you have to do is create this final part of the apple. Now we just have to make the top part of the apple, so we're going to go ahead and just click, click and bend. There we go, alt click, and then just finish off the shape like so. And the shape's done, so we just have to fill in the path, go to color, make it the same color, press OK, press OK, and then we can delete the actual path, and boom! In a matter of minutes, we just recreated the Apple logo, and if you were to compare it, it's pretty spot on. Now, as you can see, it's not perfect because we didn't really edit it, but it just goes to show how powerful this tool is because we just created one of the most famous logos out there in a matter of minutes, so you guys can definitely get creative with this tool and make your own shapes. Now, if you want to actually delete shapes within shapes, what you can do, I'll show you right now, is you can go ahead and with the pen tool, make another shape that you want to cut out. In this case, I'll just use a circle. Just make sure that shape is a different color. And then all you would do is you would draw that shape on top like so. You would merge the layers. So this is all one layer. So say I wanted to cut out a circle, I would just put in a circle and make it a different color. Go to the magic wand tool. Click on that circle, press delete, and boom, we just cut into our shape. So there's so many options out there to make your own logo with these tools, and it's just a matter of learning them. So go ahead, go practice, and make some awesome logos. But yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.